Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and we're back with Season 1, Episode 15 of My Little Pony. Last we saw, Rarity had like a dress show, I guess like a, a runway show, and she made all the ponies dresses, and she made them the way I thought they made sense. Like Applejack had a nice little Western theme going, each horse had their own thing, Pinkie Pie had like a, a party theme, and as they're unraveling it, I'm like, that's weird. I thought Rarity's dresses were good. I guess I'm wrong. I'm not a fashion guy. I don't know. I thought it made sense, and it did make sense. The end, they all wear her original dresses, and she was right. They wanted, like, weird things. Like, everyone's got their own, like, thing, like, I like this, and I want it to look like this. But when it's actually, like, concocted, and you see it for what it is... It's not going to work out the way you want. Let the professional do it. Everybody probably deals with this, but I go on jobs all the time and someone's always like, what if you did it this way? And I'm like, if you want to do it, do it yourself. You called me. I'm the professional. I'm doing it this way because that's the way it's supposed to be done. It's either the easiest way, the most cost effective way or the safest way. Whatever the reason being, I'm doing it the way you want me to do it, the best way I, as a professional, know how. So Rarity is the dressmaker. She knows you guys. She's your good friend. Let her make your dresses. My favorite part of that whole episode was Hoity Toity. Hoity Toity sounded like the millionaire from Gilligan. He had that voice where he's like, blah, 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 like super uppity. But it sounded like Thurston Howell. The millionaire from Gilligan's Island might even be the guy, but I doubt it. That guy has got to be dead by now. No ill will towards the man, but he'd be like 120 right now. I just feel like that's what they were going with. They do a lot of references to, to weird shows and movies and songs. My guess is that was a little shout out to the millionaire, but he didn't have his wife. So we're just going to jump in, guys. I am liking the show. I'm curious to see where they go with it. So far, each episode is kind of like self-contained. You learn a little bit more. You are introduced to more ponies, but they're taking it slow and I don't mind it. I'm enjoying them. They all make me smile. I'm just curious to see when it gets like into like some serious plot and future theorizing or something, because right now it's a good time. It makes me smile and I enjoy it, but it's not really going anywhere. All we really know is Princess Celestia oversees everything we had nightmare moon in the beginning that was the evil one but now it is like fixed and it's her cute little sister we have problems from time to time in ponyville like the dragon that landed on the mountain that was smoking the place out i'm just gonna learn more pony names have some more fun we're jumping in this is season one episode 15 my little pony for this to work it's crucial we keep our concentration is it like jedi around. training with the rock oh my lord spike this magic needs our full attention to make it happen. You just There's broke no his head. Way. I can't help it. Pinkie Pie, what in the wide, wide world of Equestria are you up to? Oh, it's my tail. It's my tail. It's a twitch of twitching. And you know what that means? It's going to rain. Actually, Pinkie, I haven't the slightest. My pinky sense is telling me that stuff's going to start falling. You two better duck for cover. Why, there's barely even a cloud in the sea. Raining frogs. <laughs> He just said, nice catching, frog. <laughs> you okay, Twilight Sparkle? I just oh, couldn't a stand to see the pond getting so overpopulated, so I decided to fly as many as I can on over to Froggy Bottom Bog. I thought um, Pinkie Pie Twilight, really had some power. You got a little something on your face there. Oh, really? Did your pinky sense tell you that, too? Twitch, twitch! Something else is gonna fall! Oh, Pinkie, please. Please Nothing fall. Nothing else is gonna fall. <laughs> Yes, she fell. I oh no, it. Twilight fell. My tail stopped twitching. What's the deal? There's something to it, clearly. <laughs> that was amazing. Two coincidences in a row like this may be unlikely, but it's still easier to believe than twitchy tails that predict the future. <gasps> twitchy tail, pinky sense. <laughs> so they believe Don't the pinky worry, sense. It's safe. The prediction already came true. I know it doesn't make much sense, but those of us who have been in Ponyville a while have learned over time that if Pinky's a twitching, you better listen. My ears are floppy! My ears are floppy! <laughs> what does that mean? I'll start a bath for you. This thing keeps on getting more ridiculous She's gonna fall right in that mud. Or it's gonna... Uh, so, Pinky's like so a psychic? So, basically, it works like this. I get different little niggly feelings and they mean different things. My shoulder's achy. That means there's an alligator in the tub. Oh, what didn't the? get pinchy. That isn't just scary. It's downright dangerous. How does that even happen? No, it's not silly. This is my pet alligator, Gummy. Oh, it's okay. got no teeth. See? It's just a bunch of 
bunch of mumbo jumbo. What's not to believe? You do magic. What's the difference? Huge. Little song kind. Magic is something you study and practice. It only happens when you decide to do it. And it's meant to make something specific that you choose to happen happen. Sometimes it's a bunch of random things happening in my body at random times that supposedly predict the future. I call them combos. I feel a combo coming on. Ear flop, eye flutter, knee twitch. And Spike has the backup sound of my truck. You said that combo I love it. Beautiful and it keeps going. Rainbow. Love it. It's the Doc Brown thing from Back to the Future. Tell me that's a okay. reference to Back now to the Future. when you get another Twitch, we'll have all kinds of scientific information. Okie dokie lokie. Sometimes you just have to believe in things, even when you can't figure them out. I will not believe in anything I cannot explain. Wait! Hold on. I'm feeling something. Oh my Burp. gosh. What? Burp what is right it? in her face. Oh, it's her it's belly. My tummy. It's that her usually belly. means I'm hungry. Dear Lord. Just forget it. I don't need to know if this is real or not. I don't need to understand it. I don't even care. Yes, you do. Okie dokie lokie. Love it. Uh oh. <gasps> Pinky, have you seen Twilight? Uh huh. She, you just killed her. She's behind the door. She's dead. Got a little hunting cap on. I'm doing scientific research. I'm observing Pinkie Pie. Scientific name, Pinkius Piacus. Come on, Pinkius Piacus is on the move. The Pinkius Piacus, I like it. <laughs> what is the deal? I'm kind of curious too. Does she just have these hmm. weird skills or is there knows. a reason? Like it doesn't make sense. <gasps> She's hiding like something's about to fall from the sky. But a twitchy tail means something's gonna fall from the sky. Not an itchy nose. Swarm of bees. Spike, where are you going? I'm trying to teach you the value of science. Look at Why would Smelling things like flower. that even happen? Holy guacamole! I wonder what that means. Sniffing Probably the that the flower smells good. Yeah. Ear flop. Eye flutter. Knee twitch. Hold on. You told me that's the combo that says watch out for opening doors. I was going to say, that's the one she always gets oh. hit. I promise you there's nothing to fear from that. <laughs> oh. Open doors. Voila. You came to visit my new apple seller. You okay? You got to believe it at this point, guys. That Either that or it's a hundred coincidences Here. in a row. Let me help you. Twitchy tail. Something's going to fall. Look for your life. <laughs> All right. I was gonna say, that doesn't make any sense, but then there's a moving truck full of ponies. How about you, Pinky? All done. Clear skies from here on in, as far as I can tell. Oh shit, whole body shape. What does that one mean? Don't know, never gotten any like it before. But whatever that shutter's about, it said doozy. And it's gonna happen at Froggy Bottom Bog. I mean, after all that, I believe it. I thought you didn't believe in this stuff. You got it. I don't. I just want to be there to see the look on Pinky's face when we find out nothing's wrong. Maybe if she missed on, like, a handful, she's not messed up once. Cold. Need a jacket or something? What if, what if she exploded and then, and then exploded again? Can you do that? Can you explode twice? Of course not. The well, funny thing is... She exploded, and exploded again, and then... Ugh. Oh, you two, stop! The funny thing is, I was literally going to say when Pinkie Pie was Fluttershy! shaking, is she going to explode, and that's all they're talking about. Fluttershy! <gasps> There's the frog. Fluttershy! Oh, there she is. You're okay. okay! Of course. Pinkie Pie said whatever she was shuddering about was a <laughs> doozy, and... <laughs> and the only <laughs> doozy here is how right I am. It looks like a serpent or something. What is that smell? But what we've shown it's a here is that there's no point in believing in anything you can't see for yourself. Three-headed hydra? Well, then see what's b b behind you. Four I see it, but I don't believe it. Four-headed hydra? Is that a hydra? Ah, Who cares? Yeah. Ah. I, I always wonder if they're going to call it what I know it as. Griffin Hydra, they call it that kind of stuff. That's a crazy looking Hydra. God. I think we're gonna make it! But Pinky's still shuddering! <gasps> oh my lord. 
training pair to take. Uh, hop, skip, and uh, jump! Who was it in that episode? I think it was Fluttershy. They were afraid to make one leap, and it was not even that far. He's too close. What would a brave pony like Rainbow Dash do? Where is Rainbow Dash? Yeah! Uh, make it flip itself over on itself. Run across its head and jump. How did it get so far away? It just spearheaded her right by the mountain and then it went all the way back. Can't she float herself like usual or float herself? No! Or bounce on a snot bubble in the bog. Ow, ow. Hey, she made it, but that looks like it hurt a little. Coincidence, dumb luck, or what? But you said there'd be a doozy here at Froggy Bottom Bog, and I'd say we just had ourselves one heck of a doozy. Oh, the that wasn't, wasn't it? The hydra wasn't the doozy. That was the doozy. I'm still getting the shudders. <laughs> How could it not be the doozy? Yeah. What could be doozier than that? Dunno, but it just wasn't it. It's gotta be something silly like frog party. <laughs> Just because I don't understand doesn't mean it's not true. You mean you believe? Yep. That's the doozy! That she didn't believe? What? Twilight what had to is? believe? You believing! I never expected that to happen! Dear Princess Celestia, Wonderful things in this world you just can't explain, but that doesn't necessarily make them any less true. And sometimes it takes a friend to show you the way. Hook! Hook! Up! There it goes again! I wonder what's gonna drop out of the sky this time. You never know! Twitchy tail? All right, guys. Very good episode. I really like this one. I wasn't sure if it was a coincidence either, but then way too many things were happening to the point where at the end of the episode, I'm like, now if you tell me that it doesn't work, I'm going to be like, what the hell? Because so many things happened the way Pinkie Pie said it. I was thinking in the beginning, it was one of those things like uncles and stuff that say like, yeah, like when I get like pain in my shoulders, it means it's going to rain. And a lot of the times it does. People have like weird things. It's not exact science, but people think it. That's what I thought they were going to say in the beginning of the episode. I thought they were going to say like, yeah, Picky Pie gets like a twitchy tail and then like things happen. But no, it's down to the science of her being like, if I flutter an ear and twitch my tail and wink my eye, then this happens. And the exact thing happens. That's way too much to be a coincidence. So at that point, I'm like, all right, now if you tell me it's not the case, then I don't believe you now because Pinkie Pie clearly has clairvoyance or psychic powers. At the end there, I guess I could compare it most to the love of my life, Lost, the show, my favorite show of all time. It's whether you're a man of science or a man of faith. Pinkie Pie is a, a person of faith, a pony of faith, whereas Twilight Sparkle is a pony of science. She has to know how they work, why they work. It has to be proven to her in a scientific way. You can't just say her tail twitches and stuff falls from the sky. A man of science or a pony of science, they need more than just that. They can't rely on that. Pinkie Pie is a free spirit. I said it either this episode or last episode. Pinkie Pie is a free spirit, so she believes in Things like that happening, nature and, and karma and stuff like that. I believe things, you don't have to prove it to me, but I'm not also naive and gullible. We also got to see Pinkie Pie had a pet called Gummy the Alligator. I thought it was weird it was in a bathtub, but it's because it's her pet. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, people told me that each pony has a specific pet. I don't know, do the other ones have pets? I don't know. I feel like that's it, but the alligator is definitely my favorite so far. Even though I like Spike, the alligator is adorable, and I don't think the alligator talks. Spike talks, and sometimes too much. Sometimes he gets a little annoying. Sometimes Spike's too much. Still love him, love dragons, love Spike, but he's a little like, I don't know, giving him the voice kind of gives him the ability to get annoying, whereas the alligator is just adorable. I want him. Crazy big Hydra, but the ponies prevail. They get away, but they are surrounded by some crazy stuff. Sea serpents, dragons, hydras, crazy stuff in Ponyville. And then at the end there, 
weirdly, Princess Celestia lands and grabs the paper and flies away. I guess it was just to make Pinkie Pie write again and throw a little, like, fan service and show us Princess Celestia in the episode. We did not see Rarity or Rainbow Dash. For the most part, I feel like they've been in almost every episode. Was this the first time they weren't in it, an episode? There had to have been at least one or two more. But on that note, I don't want to make these long as hell. So we're going to call out there. Like in the show, though, we learned that Pinkie Pie now has this ability. And I can't help but think that's going to come back again. They can't bring up something like that. That's a crazy ability. She could twitch or do this or that, and she could basically predict the future, so to speak. If you guys want to be way ahead on this show, probably even as much as a season ahead at this point, full reactions unedited, Patreon link in front of me. If not, comments down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.